Can? Can? So today, my baby is making oatmeal. He's making oatmeal for me because I don't know. Not yet, baby. You got to put the water first. We got to put the water to boil, remember? So let's get water. Not yet. It's old. It's old, but it's still very yummy. Okay, let's get the, let's get the water for here. Let me close it, open it. We need to get water first. Okay, the water is in. Yeah, the get it. Okay, let me close it. Yeah. Open it. Open. So then, um, woke up perfectly fine, made myself some matcha. That's all I did. Um, and then I want to say like three, four, yeah, water. like two, three hours later, um, my stomach just went berserk. I just Sorry, it's gonna be TMI. I just started having like stomach cramps and then I just been diarrheaing this whole time. And that started back in seven, it's already 12. I need a lot more water. Oh! A lot more water. And I've just been chilling by the toilet. I canceled all my meetings, everything I had today. And today was a jet pack day. So, yeah, I had to cancel everything. Been laying down. It's been bad. So I'm thinking of. I have like no appetite, but Taika's gonna make me some oatmeal. So hopefully whatever's in my tummy goes away, feels better, I don't know. So let's see how he does. You're gonna get up and down every, monkey, here, get this, get this. No, no, let's put it on the table right here. No, I'm gonna show you how to do it faster. No, the flat water. Okay, go. No, put it on the cover. Nothing. No, I need more, baby. Like this, look. Bananas with a with this knife. You're so animated. Not yet. No bananas yet. We're gonna boil the water. We're gonna put the water on the stove. Me oatmeal and honey. Honey. He says it like that because he keeps saying honey with a p, and I keep telling him it's honey. So he's mimicking how I say it. You want me to put it on there? Oh no. You're gonna keep it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make music. You're gonna make music? That's funny. Okay. Now you're definitely a monkey. Alrighty, I've been working for the past, let me see, uh, two hours now. Feel kind of funky. Anything I put in my body immediately has to come out. So I'm like, okay, cool. Just as long as you get the bad guys out, let it all out. I don't give a fuck. Um, but it's lunchtime now and I know I should eat. I'm not really hungry, but, um, I do want nutritious stuff in my body because I'm just losing good with the bad. So I ordered, I placed an order for some Japanese udon. This place has one of my favorite udons that's within, you know, drivable distance. And, um, and they use like really bomb veggies. So it's a veggie udon. So I can only imagine it's going to make my stomach feel really, really nice on the inside. So I'm going to go pick that up. I'll probably just take Taika and my mom out for a little car ride. My mom hates going outside with Taika just because she just prepares for the worst and she imagines opening the door, Taika running straight into the middle of the street and a car immediately hitting him. Like that's how scared she is. So she won't take him outside unless he's with, or we're with her, you know? Um, so I'll take her out, take her for a little stroll and um, see how I feel. Fuck, I hope I don't shit myself driving over there. They totally rejected me and they don't even want to come. All right, you're going to be my passenger right now since I'm completely alone and nobody wanted to come with me. Um, I wanted to give you an update on the house. It's really, really cool now. We actually got an offer and um, we didn't like the offer, obviously, because they don't want to give you the first amount that you ask for. They want to go lower because they want to save money. So it's just all part of the negotiating process. So then we countered their offer with obviously something higher than what they wanted to pay. And then they countered our counter offer um, and it was reasonable. They only wanted to keep, they only wanted it $8,000 less. And it works out because the timing of selling this house and doing escrow usually takes 30 days. It takes about a month to close out escrow because that's when they're looking at bank accounts, paperwork, credit, 
Um, they inspect the house. They just do a bunch of, um, uh, they just look at a bunch of stuff, right? And um, within those 30 days, shit, I lost my thought process. I hate when this happens. Fuck. I was picturing our new house. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, so, sorry. I do this a lot in real life anyway. So, it's like you're really here with me because I do this shit all the time. Anyway. So, yeah. So, it's going to take 30, 30 days, about a month, to close escrow for them to finally take ownership of our current house. But, so that would be, where are we talking about? Uh, we're February... 8th right now so that means we have until March like latest March 19 is what was on the paperwork but our new house we can't move in until after March 30th okay you following so this house gets sold before we even can move into the new house so what's gonna happen now is we're asking for a lease back which means come March 19th the house is there but we're asking them hey can we rent it from you guys now, the new owners of this house, can we rent it from you for a month? And we put that in uh, the offer and they agreed to it. So then now with those eight grand that they wanted us to deduct from the final counter counter offer that I told you about, that pretty much we're seeing it as like, oh, okay, they only wanted to deduct the eight grand because they're gonna be so nice to allow us to lease back without even charging us rent because technically they should be charging us rent if they wanted to because this is their house that they can't move in because we're in it so it makes sense now to us that they wanted the eight grand off because I'm like oh okay that just covers their expenses it covers the rent and whatever expenses that you know they have to go through um for that month that we're asking to live there still so so far everything looks good I think we started escrow paperwork today so wish us luck nothing follows th or nothing falls through and everything follows through yeah I still feel like I need to take a freaking diarrhea dukes but I didn't eat anything so I'm not scared but I feel it in my tummy like I'm about to diarrhea on you bitch that's what I feel but I gotta eat man I gotta get my body right alrighty so I just pulled up this is the spot if you're in the Monrovia area, hit this spot up. If you're in the 626, hit it up. It's really, really good. Um, and also, as I was driving, I just want to share with you guys, I rarely listen to the radio. Um, I'm always listening to an audiobook. Like, I have several books that I'm currently either reading or listening to for different occasions. So when I'm driving, this is the one I'm currently reading. When I'm running, I read a different book or I listen to a different book. And then when I'm trying to go to sleep, I have a different book. So I'm like reading about four to five different books at any given time. And I feel like that's like the only way I can um, gain so much knowledge without really wasting any additional time. Like I have to, I have to um, drive anyway. Why not make it productive? So if you want a little pro tip, Maybe you guys can start implementing that and just keep it at 10 pages, you know, a day, maybe um, 30 minutes of listening. Even 10 minutes of listening is really, really good. You know, like you still get something out of it. So maybe you guys could try that. Be right back. I'm going to go pick up my food. Alrighty, food safely secured. I already hooked Taika up. Broccoli, rice, teriyaki chicken. Thank you. And then I got myself some spicy... Tuna, because I'm still dieting, and some udon. Let me show you. This is the one I was talking about that has all the veggies. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at that. So many amazing veggies. I'm trying to get my chopsticks so I could show you. There is no protein in here. That's why I got the fish, but look at all these veggie bows. Yummy, yummy veggie bows. Yeah. My stomach feels better. So I'm gonna have a cookie. A wafer cookie. Because wafers are cookies. Look what the wind blew in. <laughs> 
Whoa, 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 I think the wind blew this guy in. I think the wind blew this guy in. Papa Taika was so cuny today. Taika kept, kept taking care of me. Yeah. He kept touching my forehead with his little hand and he was like, wow, you're hot. And then he would tell, he would touch my stomach and he's like, he's like, mama, drink water so you could feel better. Whoa, look at your papa dodge all these bullets. Whoa. Wow, you missed him completely. Oh, wow. <laughs> this guy's a maniac. Oh, he's blocking your bullets with a blanket. This guy's just watching his reflection while shooting at you. Oh no! Got you. Oh no, you got jacked! Oh, wait a minute! No, don't cry, don't cry. It's, that's it, you just have to get it back. You have to be good. You have to take it back, get it. Now Papa cries. Oh God, okay, Papa stops. Papa stops. Yeah, hey, you can't cry when people take away your stuff. Just get it back. That's how you play. No, it's not your gun. It's the family's gun. It's my gun. No. <laughs> oh, uh, your dad's hiding. Where's your papa? Don't throw the gun at him, please. Don't throw, Don't throw it. The gun. Nope, nope, that's trash. Don't throw anything. I don't even know what that is, Grandma. <laughs> go, go shoot him like that. Get his butt butt, get his butt butt. Get him in the butt butt. You wanna take off your socks so you can run faster? You keep slipping. Monkey, you wanna take off your socks? Yeah, yeah, look, he took off his socks. He can run faster. Give me your socks. He can run faster. Give me your socks. You're going to slip and fall. I'm trying to help you so you can catch Papa. Look, you see, Papa took off his socks because he can run fast now. Take off your socks. What is this? It's like literally everything I say, he wants to do the opposite. Okay, here, let's eat some chocolate. You want chocolate? You want chocolate? Wait, that didn't work. <laughs> Papa showed me how he used to be lean. <laughs> it's crazy because you don't know how lean you were until you look back. And I remember then, I didn't really think I was lean because I wasn't really happy with my body. Um, but then now I like look at something just going through my floor. I'm like, oh, damn. I'd be happy with that right now. I think this is the leanest and uh, muscle mass I've had since I've had Taika. Since you had Taika, yes. Very true. I'm not asking you, jerk. What? I'm not a jerk. I wanted you to agree with me that I was freaking not... What? Did you say anything? Yeah. So, I'm enjoying the ride and I'm enjoying a nice little healthy snack. Popcorn. Wait, why are you looking at that anyway? Like what? Your phone. Oh, because uh, me and uh, David were talking. Oh. He was telling me how he lost weight. I mean, uh, how he gained hella weight. And I'm like, dude, I gained 30 pounds last year. And he was like, 30 pounds? I'm like, I know. I like, just finished running a marathon. And then so, you know, when you're doing that much cardio, you're, you're just naturally light. I was like 180. And by the time I ended... In fact, two, I'm listening to the tea. And by the time I ended 220, I mean, uh, 2020, I was 210. What do you get now? I'm like back down like 205. That was like five pounds three weeks so far. The crazy thing is, um, I know what you mean by you're trying to get to the body that you want, but you still look good now. Right now? People, yeah. Oh, People you. strive to look like you right now. You're very supportive. You eat lots of ice cream sandwiches and you look just like this. Yeah, right with the six pack still. Look at this. So, you still could see the six pack. This is ice cream sandwich. You have crazy body dysmorphia. You're weird. It's that time of the night. Mm -hmm. We already put the little dude to bed. 
My stomach feels a little bit more solid, which is good. After I ate the udon, um, it stayed in my system. So that felt really, really, really nice. They feel like I'm back to normal again. Yo, every time I stare at this carpet, it's not even our part carpet. Remember I told you guys we, we got um, staging done? And with the staging, they rented some pieces to us. Like for example, this painting, the loud frames there, one of them's crooked now all of, all of a sudden. But yeah, these guys, what else? That one is rented, that thing right there. This is one of them. Oh, and that. Like if it, if it looks like it doesn't fit with this house, it's because we didn't buy it. We rented it. But yeah, this carpet, every time I walk in here, it like trips me out. Look at that. I hate it. But the good news is we've officially entered escrow today. Um, hopefully all goes well and this new family can enjoy this beautiful house in this wonderful neighborhood. I absolutely love it, but just with everything that's going on with our businesses, our personal life, just California just does not suit us. And I just want to encourage you guys to really remember that you have the freedom and the power of choice. And you have the ability to live the life that you want to live. And you have the ability to create the life that you want to create. It's all 100% in your hands. You know, you're lucky and you're fortunate enough to be in the situation that you are. So take advantage of it and look at your life in the next five years, 10 years. What does that look like? And then start working towards creating that life for yourself. It's not easy. It's a lot of hard work but it's so worth it. I believe in you guys. I think you're on to a beautiful start of a wonderful journey. Don't give up on yourself. You have it in you to have everything that you want. This world is yours. See you later. Just kidding. Oh my God, I didn't even cut it, ugh.